marriage miracles of the good Lord. Mm -hmm. It's the only species I know that does that. Mm -hmm. Goats can have twins and they're fine. Horses. Whatever you're done, Steve. Well, what's up, guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, and uh, had to go to the store this morning and bought a new hay feeder. So I told you guys a few videos back that we could possibly be adding some large animals to the farm, and today's that day. And uh, I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But I had to go to the store and get another uh, hay feeder. So. We can divide everything up and have a round bale into three pastures. So the one I bought is because, mostly because of the goats. Because goats like to get up on top of a hay feeder or on top of a round bale and they eat from the top and then they pee and poop and then they won't eat it and then they just stomp on it. So I don't know if this will completely solve that problem but this one's about two feet tall. So basically it's designed so that they have to eat from the bottom. And I'm sure there will be some waste. It's not a perfect hay feeder but I want to try this style out. Um, it's not painted. It could have been, it needs to be primed and painted. We're going to go ahead and put it into use right now. After this winter's over, maybe before, you know, sometime next spring or something, we'll, we'll get it out, clean it and uh, paint it, prime it, whatever we decide to do. But it's made out of heavy gauge pipe, heavy gauge square tubing. Looks to be pretty strong built. So I think it'll hold up to the animals. But like I said, we need to be able to divide things up and, uh, have separate pastures so pretty soon we're going to have a, we're going to add a fourth pasture which i don't know if i'll need another hay feeder for there but <clears throat> a lot of my other hay feeders are just the old cattle ring style so the one that in this goat pen down here is an old cattle ring it's like three rings in a circle for cows you just set the hay bale down in there and they can't get in there to it obviously that doesn't work for goats because they can walk right through it so i took some cables and elevated i ran cables across the top of that ring and elevated that hay bale works pretty good until it gets down to about maybe a third 
left it can fall over you know it doesn't it's never fallen out and harmed a goat but the way it cradles that bale it just kind of collapses onto itself but anyways i'm going to get this put out i'm probably just going to put it in here where the alpacas and donkeys and stuff are first there's a couple goats so we can at least test it out and see how that goes so uh let's get this thrown out there i need to put out another round bale of hay for for these animals because we're going to be closing them off from where they have access to their hay and uh, do my chores get my stuff done then we'll pick up the kids and make a road trip down the road to get our new animals for the farm but by the way i wanted to show you guys we got new hats in they're on the website now should be there we don't have a ton of them uh how about the mullet a lot of comments about mullet it's starting to get some curl back here but uh these this is the only color that we have on the website right now we may be adding some more in the future but it will probably be later in january it's taken us like four weeks to get these in <sighs> i thought we ordered two different colors on the first go around but apparently we ordered two cases of the same one and i'm guessing we didn't order near enough because we ordered them back when uh, we didn't know how much merchandise we were going to sell like kind of like when we ordered 200 t-shirts to start and i think we're you know like over a thousand <laughs> Uh, t-shirts and hoodies but anyways go check them out armsfamilyhomestead.com i've probably had a hundred people message me about hats so they're in if we if you don't get them before they're out of stock just bear with us we'll get more in as soon as we can we're trying i had no idea i've been blown away at how much merchandise we've sold in the last month or so you guys are you guys are awesome so thanks for paying for my uh hay feeder basically that's kind of where that money's going in back into the farm so anyways, let's get some work done and then uh, we'll go show you our new animals that we're hopefully going to be bringing home later this evening. Hey Whopper, uh, I'm not complaining or anything that you're eating the hay off the ground because hey, good job cleaning up the mess, but you got about a thousand pounds of fresh hay there, buddy. So uh, I don't want to hear you complaining about not getting enough grain. I don't want to hear you complaining about anything. You're not out here in the mud. All right, we're going to be friends today. Hmm? All right, get all that cleaned up, and then you can eat the hay on the brand new hay feeder. All right, buddy?
There we go for all the naysayers out there that said it wouldn't work. Completely full of diesel, 55 gallons. On wheels, and it rolls around the shop. Uh. Really? <laughs> well, we got the trailer hooked up. We're all loaded up. Finally got the kids home from school. I didn't know if you were ever going to make it home. I know. It's because we took like an hour at Sooners. Had to go to the grocery store, huh? Yeah. So, we are loaded up. I haven't even told anyone on the video what we're getting yet, Houston. Who's more excited, Houston or Emily? Me. 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 Huh. Two me's. So... What are we going to get? Show cows. Yes. We're just we're just getting cows to show off. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. No. 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 We're getting heifers for show. Yes. We're not just showing yeah. off. I was making a joke. We're getting two show heifers. A lot of people thought we were getting camels, milk cows. Uh, I don't know what all. A ton of different camels. things. But we are getting two show heifers. The kids are going to be in 4-H and want to show a couple heifers this year and the reason we're getting heifers is because butcher dates on steers are insane far out so heifers are a better deal and i have a uh, a cousin that raises show calves and has some really really good show calves and these two are going to show a couple heifers for him and then after show season's over he'll take them back and he'll breed them and have more calves so you ready yeah. We're probably not going to make it back home before dark, so we're probably going to be unloading in the dark and the cold. But that's all right. Let's go check them out. I think Emily's just sleepy. Yeah. This is going to be exciting having two new animals on the farm. That's going to be a little more, a little more like training to do. Oh yeah. A lot more. Yeah. On it, on that mm -hmm. white one. So cold. What you did that for? Well, what number was it? Careful, she'll get your hand. <laughs> no, don't, don't. Marriage miracles of the good Lord. Mm -hmm. It's the only species I know that does that. Goats can have twins and they're fine. Horses. Well, we made it home. Gonna unload these two little ladies into the corral and that's where they're going to stay for a while until we can start working with them get them halter broke a little bit emily are you excited yeah i'm cold though yeah it is kind of cold so. all right well we're going to keep them in here this you may recognize this is our former pig pen that's where we're going to put these two heifers for now and butterscotch. Mm -hmm. Come on, Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hop out. Alright. Get us some feet. Oh, 
know if you got enough lead in your pencil to be doing that. Yeah, it is. Hello. Hello. Whopper, you already making friends, buddy? Hmm? Hey, why don't you let me go in there because you just got on tennis shoes right now, so here. And my lock just went down. There we go. No! No, go! my breath but I sure feel like I should be able to. It's cold out here, Emily. Go away. Go away. Go away. You know, we just did all this barn update, put all this electricity and all the lights out here. Everything's perfect under here. Guess I should have put a light out the side of the barn too, Emily. Okay. Okay. Didn't get my chores done before dark. Kind of nice to have lights out here nowadays, huh? Well, I know you guys didn't get to see the best look at the two new heifers that we've got, but uh, I promise you, you'll be seeing them in a lot of videos to come. Houston and Emily are both wanting to get into 4-H and start showing cows. I never, when I was in school, I didn't show cattle. I showed pigs, and they're a lot easier because you just get them, you know, you just drive them. You get with a stick and walk behind them and take them around the show ring. Cattle, we're gonna have to work with these a lot more, but. It's gonna be a lot of fun and uh, it's really it's really nice having a family member that raises, you know, show cattle. So I don't know what these two would normally cost, but they'd be some very expensive heifers. And uh, anyways, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited about it. I don't know if this guy's as excited as he says he is. I think I Emily is, she's I, into it. But uh, we'll see, this will be their first experience with show animals and uh, We'll go to a couple different shows. We'll have a spring livestock show here and maybe some jackpots or something here and there. I don't know exactly what all we'll do. I promise you we'll get you a better look at these heifers in the near future. It just got dark on us. I hate that it gets dark at like 5.30, 6 o'clock, whatever. But uh, that's just part of it. That's not an Arms Family Homestead beanie. What's the deal? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know where mine went. So uh, anyways, guys, I'm cold. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for supper. So. Why don't you wrap this video up and let's so get this over with. So if you haven't already, go down there, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and like this video so, so you'll never miss another video that we push. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.